At first glance, it's a dilapidated eyesore, a loser in the battle with weather and vandalism and neglect. But the old two-story Indiana-style iframe house has inspired a core of devoted backers waging an uphill fight to save and restore it. It looks pretty ragged. It looks horrible, it looks but terrible. it's very restorable. When the Civil War started, this was already a well-worn 37-year-old house, home to a family called Landers. In 1861, the man of the house was a 19-year-old named Eli Landers, who left his mother and sisters to enlist in the Confederate Army. Eli's family were a common farm class family. They never owned slaves. And Eli went off to fight for the Confederacy simply out of a sense of duty. For two years, Landers marched and fought with the Confederate Army, never rising above the rank of private. He fought in the bloodiest battles of the war, Gettysburg, Antietam, Fredericksburg, Chickamauga. He was wounded twice. And during his enlistment, he wrote regularly to his mother in Gwinnett County. The letters survive to this day, outlining his stoic commitment to a lost cause and a horrifying tour of duty. We lost many of our boys. We only have 36 men present in the company. So many killed and wounded and left their places vacant. Every time we form the company, it makes me feel bad to see so many vacant places and ranks. To think where we left some of them lying dead in the woods, the dreadful sword of death has trimmed them from our ranks. Every day, thousands of cars pass by the Landers house on Gwinnett County's Pleasant Hill Road. Too much traffic, engineers say, for the road to handle. Gwinnett County is widening Pleasant Hill Road. The 173-year-old Landers house is in the way. It's a big piece of Gwinnett County history. The sad thing is that 10,000 cars a day probably drive by here and nobody has any clue what the house is. When traffic engineers mapped their road widening route, they found three historic sites. This 19th century cabin is well off the path and will survive the project. Gwinnett County officials were also able to preserve this historic cemetery, located just a quarter mile up the road from the Landers' home and where, ironically, Eli Landers is buried. But county officials say they had to make a choice, either preserve the cemetery or preserve the Landers' home. They couldn't do both and still widen the road. We, we had to avoid one or the other and they agreed that we felt the cemetery was perhaps more important. There's a number of grave sites there that are from the uh, 19th century. So uh, the road moved in the direction of the Landers Kane House. One nice thing is structurally there's no termite damage. Backers of the Landers House say they cannot stop the road project. So they're trying to raise money to move the structure off the old farm site and relocate it up the road. It would be ideal to leave the house in the original spot, but if it can't be there, then uh, I think the appropriate spot is, is near the cemetery where Eli is buried. Eli Landers followed his regiment through the fiercest battles of an ugly war and survived them all. But in 1863, around the Battle of Chickamauga in Chattanooga, he got typhoid fever and died at age 21. He left a durable legacy, a written history from the front lines of the Civil War and a house that lasted 173 years. The man died defending Gwinnett County. We owe it to Eli to defend his house now. Backers have until May to raise money to move and restore the house before the road project overruns the property. Well, I don't think you have to be a southerner to appreciate the sacrifice that a 19-year-old boy made when he went probably never been more than five miles away from home before, and he went hundreds of miles away and fought in battles like Gettysburg and Antietam, and he did his duty.